Hi loves and thanks for tuning in to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Click the subscribe button so you can stay connected with me and also the notification bell so you'll know every time I upload a video. Today's video is in collaboration with V's Life Unconditionally. A link to her channel is in the description box below. She has some really great content and she's a wonderful person. My laundry room is a complete disaster. <laughs> it's not even the clothes that are out of place. It's just items all over the place. So I am really happy to be in here and just tackling this mess and getting things back in order because I definitely don't want to be dealing with this on the day that I have to do my laundry. I'm so glad that you guys decided to tune in. And as I say in all of my videos, Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. I'd love to chat with you guys. And if you are cleaning with me today, let me know what area of your home that you're tackling. Instead of having a trash can in my laundry room, I actually use this little basket just um, for the dryer sheets and lint. I found that when I had a trash can in my laundry room in my old house, it would just really start to pile up and overflow and just make the space really junky. So I think this was a good solution to that problem. And besides, it just seemed like I was the only one dumping it anyway, so. <laughs> my fabric softener and laundry detergent in these containers it's so much easier for me to handle when I am doing my laundry and plus I like the way it looks notice there was a little buildup on the um, lids of the container so I'm just gonna wash them off a bit um, but I'm curious, you guys, do you do the same thing? Do you take your um, laundry detergent and fabric softener and put it in a different container? Um, or do you just pull it out each time that you do a load? Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I started doing this because I was watching, I think I was watching like a d design show or something. And I noticed that um, the person did the same thing and it just made the laundry room space look so just put together and it just seemed like doing laundry was so peaceful instead of stressful because um, I don't know to me it did just kind of stress me out a bit when I would pull the container out and see like drips of liquid on the side of the big container and then I had to tussle with it and pour it just right and then you notice that you just pour it too much. I mean, man, I could go on and on and on about the fact that I just hated it doing it that way. But I love it this way now. And I'm curious, you guys, um, do you do the same thing? Leave it in the comment section below. I'd love to know. And also, I want to know, um, do you have a theme in your laundry room? Is it decorated? Are you thinking about decorating? Leave it in the comment section. <laughs> I keep my cleaning supplies in the cabinet above my washer and dryer and behind me is the utility closet and I just keep um, my vacuum cleaner, my mop bucket and also the dirty laundry goes in there as well. the appliance off with the all-purpose cleaner from Lysol is a really great cleaner and it's actually my favorite household cleaner to use um, around my home I talk about it a lot in my clean with me videos 
and i'm curious you guys i always ask because i want to know have you tried this cleaner yet and if you have what scent is your favorite Um, this is another space in my home that does not have a window. So what I did to still give the space um, a fresh and outdoorsy feel, I decided to put a lot of greenery in this space. And also I wanted to keep the colors of the decor very light and airy. And I really don't, it really doesn't bother me um, not having a window in this space because it still feels um you know, just light and airy when I come in here to do some work, which is laundry <laughs> or iron my clothes. I really just don't miss not having a window in here. I'm gonna use this floral piece to hide the water hoses that are connected to the washing machine. I use the remaining space on my washer and dryer for folding. I like the fact that we don't have the um, storage containers underneath the front loaders because that frees up a lot of the space. Um, so I really don't miss the fact that I don't have a folding table in this room. Now in this scene, I actually was trying to figure out where to put these containers because I just wanted to do something a little different. I normally had them had the um, laundry detergent and fabric softener stored on top of the um, dryer just because the space was more open, but I decided to kind of switch it up a bit and put my unstoppables on that side in the dryer sheets and put the laundry detergent and fabric softener on the right side which makes a whole lot more sense because it's on top of the washing machine, you know? I was so happy when I got that step stool and I keep it stored right in between um, the appliances right there. Super easy for me to get to. My husband is 6'4", he has no problem getting in the cabinets, but me, I need this stool. <laughs> I love the fact that my laundry room is back to normal and it is pretty much prepared for spring. <laughs> and it smells wonderful in here because I decided to put a candle in here to offer a nice fresh scent and, you know, just to go along with the calm vibe that I got going on in this space. <laughs> If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button so you can stay connected with me i'd love for you to join the family for those of you that have already subscribed thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video